Morning everyone, Kiwi here. It's uh where are we on now? Day ten. It's uh almost eight o'clock in the morning, just leaving Carter Gap Shelter. Uh the shelter's really nice, highly recommend it. It's clean, I only had one mouse come in at about four o'clock in the morning, tap me on the head, asking me where the pop tarts are at. Um but no, it's a comfortable shelter. Um it's got a privy out the back there. It's right off the path. The water source um, isn't great. I mean, you'll definitely get water out of it. But you gotta go about 50 meters. Well, not even that. Probably about 30 meters back down the track and go down a slope on the west side. And uh, you gotta go down a little ways. And it's uh, someone's been kind enough to put a three-quarter inch PVC pipe. That's the way we're heading this morning. And that's the way we came yesterday. So, yeah, you go down there past that log down there and hang a right and go down the slope. I mean, you'll get water out of it for sure. But uh, it's, not a, it's not a stream. It's just a... Uh, a, a good sized trickle coming out of a rock there, but you, you can fill up because of the pipe, so uh, I'm gonna try and make it to uh, Widening Steer Gap today and uh, Get into Franklin if not, there's a shelter. I think three miles short of it We'll see what the conditions on the track are like uh, With the rain last night, man. I'm glad I stayed here Jeez, that's probably the smartest decision I've made on this whole trip so far. Because the weather broke, I went and got some water, got back to the shelter, it started really rainy again. <laughs> and I'm like, screw it. We'll get nice and toasty in our sleeping bag and chill out. And then no sooner had I done it, and it really came pouring down. And it rained and rained and rained for the next, I don't know, I mean straight for like four hours. And you know, that would have been, that would have been the whole time of continuing the hike yesterday. Miserable, cold, wet, just to get to a campsite, put up my tent and, and everything in a, in a mud pool. Yeah, no thanks. Take a dry, clean shelter any day. And there's a couple little um, brooms in there as well, like little dustpan brooms. So that was nice. So hopefully the weather will hold out. There's no more rain on the forecast as far as I can see for the next week, but we'll see. Just a little mist. And yeah, we've got about 16 miles if I make it a winding steer. So we'll see how I go. All right, see you later. Okay, this is uh, that's about 10 or so minutes from Carter Gap. And this is a far superior water source than what's at the shelter, so something to bear in mind. It's only 10 minutes north, Carter Gap Shelter. It's a nice bit of trail. I mean, it wouldn't be so nice if there was gushing water running down it, but, but it's kind of neat with the leaves and the contrast to oh God, this extensive fire damage. But the walk's not bad. Um, honestly, the approach to uh, Carter Gap was more precarious with the uh, with the mud. Yesterday, I must have lost my balance about twelve times. Birds. Um, yeah, I mean, you got to watch some of these slopes. I mean, I mean, I'm on this, and that's how wide it is. Now, here, and this isn't really giving you a proper um, idea, but I mean, that's off at about a 70, 80 degree angle. I mean, it's basically a sheer drop. You go sliding off some of these. I mean, this is a heavily wooded part. Well, what do you know? <laughs> what a good thing I didn't just keep pushing through last night in that cold rain, all right? 
Now, who knows? I mean, maybe, maybe there is camping here now, and they haven't uh, come up to take these signs away. But yeah, no camping at Betty Creek Gap. That's where I was heading to last night. Or gave serious consideration to it. I'm gonna check the water source here and see uh, see what it's like. I'll get back to you. All right, so this is Betty Creek's water source. This is a really good water source. It's on a, you know, it's on a blue blazed trail coming off west off the uh, Betty Creek campsite there. It's a little hike in here. It's about uh, at least 200 meters, I'd say, but it's a it's fairly level, wide walk. But yeah, just keep going, you'll find it. But I'm gonna fill up and uh, get out of here. It's a great little campsite. Just north of Mooney Gap, once you cross the uh, the dirt road there, so I'd say it's only about four or five hundred meters past that road. There's a little campsite at that road, but they got a sign saying "Do not camp here." So yeah, this is a great spot, nice and level. I was saying earlier, man, a lot of these sort of stealth camps are much more level than what's around the shelters for the most part. So. Yeah, it's a good option. All right. More hills. No one told me there'd be so many hills, goddammit. All right, bye. Trail's very cool up here. Very much reminds me of being back in New Zealand. Very nice. So on the approach up to the uh, fire tower up here. <sighs> Looks like so much fun. And fire tower should be over there, I guess. And uh, I think it's officially the, uh, the 100 mile mark, so yay. See you up there. That is a steep little climb. It's about 45, 50 degree ascent. Oh, well, here we are at the watchtower. Yep, it's a watchtower. And no, I'm not climbing it. We've all seen the videos already. Whew. I used to be up here. Whew. A little hazy. All right. Onwards and upwards. Oh yeah, before I forget, this is uh, basically the, uh, the 100 mile mark, so. Yay me. That is a pretty cool wash chair, I'll say. But that's a climb. That's a climb coming up here. I mean, you can blue blaze up the Forest Service Road. But that's, that's actually quite a dangerous climb coming up here. I'm not going to lie to you. It's good to be here, though. All right, bye for now. So this is kind of the terrain coming off the, uh, the watchtower. Pretty, pretty level. Nice and easy, to be honest. But uh, I do love me 
These rhododendron tunnels. It's a shame I'm too early for her to see them in bloom. Of course, these are everywhere along the trail, but I never get sick of walking in them. Nice shelter. I won't be staying at this tonight, but I want to come off. It's about two, about 200 yards off the trail. And they've got a great water source, which I'm going to utilize. And that privy. Very nice. Great setup. Upstairs. Very cool. So that's the approach trail coming down from the uh, from the actual AT. Great fire pit. It's got a cooking grate on it. <clears throat> this is Long Branch Shelter. Great location, great woodsy views, very, very cool, and I've only seen one piece of graffiti on it, so this place must be new. The entries in the book were that there are, there are quite a few mice here, which is kind of surprising, it's kind of, it's so clean, but, yeah, lovely shelter, I think it's the best shelter I've seen here. Obviously both levels are um, they're like three-quarter levels, so there's no standing in there, but yeah, nicely designed. And there's a great water source back up the trail, uh, which I'm going to use uh, in a couple of minutes. It's like a nice strong stream running through there, so yeah, lovely spot. Long Branch Shelter. <clears throat> 